Chelsea, who return to action after the World Cup against Bournemouth next Tuesday, looking for their first win in six league games. Graham Potter, as you can see, has just been speaking to the media ahead of that one. Let's hear from him now. You've had 12 players, a whole team away in Qatar at the World Cup. I mean, what would you assess has been the physical and mental um, exertion they've been placed under the last month or so? Well, yeah, 12, but it's a bit of a mix in terms of when they got knocked out and um, <clears throat> how much game time they played. So it's a real mix across the, across the 12. They've, they've dripped back in um, according to their own circumstance. And I have to say they've come back in a really good, in a really good way. We're still waiting on um, Hakim and Mateo. Uh, obviously, they went the the distance in terms of not not to the final, but to the third and fourth place. So, uh, and obviously, they played the games as well. So, a big demand for those two. So, it was important to give them a little bit of time. They won't be available for the game as a consequence, but still, um, everybody else has been back. We've had a few days training with with all of them. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. We have to deal with it, and it's been good. Yeah, I mean, Zayac was quite a story, wasn't he? He he played seven games for Morocco. They were sensational. He was sensational. He scored one, there was an assist as well, but he's a player largely you've not really used so far. Have you changed your mind about Zayic, given what you saw at the World Cup? Well, I mean, he played against Man City, came on against uh, Newcastle, I think where he was at when we first came, he, he was a, a little bit away from the, 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 the first 11, um, but he's been involved in the games. I think he came on in the first game um, as a sub. Uh, we know his qualities. We like him as a player. Um, plays in between the lines. He's got fantastic qualities. We saw in the World Cup. So, you, you know, you can speak a lot um, at Chelsea. There's always good players that aren't in the starting eleven and have to be patient. Um, but um, I'm delighted for him. Kept in touch with him over the World Cup. Delighted for him that he got the game time. Delighted for him that he helped his team. He's he's a he's a good guy and he's he's got quality. Sure. Um, just on injuries, obviously the news about Broya. I'm not good. And we were hearing that um, Fafana came off in the Brentford friendly. Can you just give us an update on Fafana and tell us who is not available then for, for Bournemouth? Yeah, so Wesley just had a little setback, um, which can sometimes happen at the very last stage of, of, of the rehab. So it'll be a couple of weeks. So he won't be available for the game. Obviously, Armando's a, a big loss in terms of the time he's out. Um, of the other ones, uh, Reese is back in. Reese has been training with us and, and, and completed 60 five minutes um, in the week, still without Ruben, still without Ben Chilwell, obviously Kante, um, Mendy's had a couple of days training with us. Um, is that it? I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. that's it. How far away is Kante? He's a while. Uh, he'll be end of Feb, start of March. Um, you're coming up to your first transfer window as the Chelsea manager. Christopher Vivelle is on board now as the technical director. Um, your reaction to that appointment and what does he need to do for you in the coming transfer window, do you think? Our reaction is positive. Um, I've met him a few times and uh, I have a really good feeling. I think he's, uh, uh, he's going to be a real asset to the football club. I think his role is, is, is to connect the football club in terms of the different departments and my normal relationship with technical directors is a supportive one we're trying to help each other so that's the that's how we're going to work i'm looking forward to you know looking forward to that that journey together just a couple more graham um mendy's contract has been in the paper the last day or two there's been the suggestion that he won't sign because he's not happy with the terms on offer can you clarify that and how happy is mendy at chelsea right now well, it's not my place, I don't think, to, to speak publicly about players' contract situation. I think uh, that's between them and the club. Um, and he's been absolutely top with, with, with us, with, with me. Great guy, uh, happy around the place. Uh, but in terms of his contract, it's not for me to comment on. Sure. And just finally from me, after three straight defeats before the break, I mean, how badly do you need a win, starting with Bournemouth? Well, it's... Um, it's always nice to win, that's for sure. So we, we know the we know the situation, we know um, we know how important it is. We want to try our best. Thank you, good luck, happy Christmas. Thank Alex. you, and you. Hi Graham, how Hi. are you? Good, thank you. Yourself? Good, thank you. Just picking up on that, those three league defeats before the break, considering that how beneficial was the break and do you see the squad in a better place now? Yeah, I mean I think you have to go through moments, everyone if you're honest, you say, well, we were suffering a little bit before the break. 
uh, in terms of the results of had, had, uh, weren't the, what we wanted. Performances weren't so good either. So sometimes as a team, as a club, you have to you know you go through these periods. We were through the one there, and you can there's lots of I could offer lots of explanations as to why, but you just have to accept that sometimes they happen, and you have to. Uh, you know, get through them, and then uh, a break can help. Of course, uh, whether it's an international break, whether it's a, a different fixture in terms of a different competition. But we had the break. Um, obviously, the guys that went away at the World Cup uh, that gets cleared away, and everyone can come back and reset. And obviously, all the learning that's happened in that really intense period, you can consolidate and say, okay, how do we go forward? And that's been beneficial. Gary O'Neill speaks very highly of you. What have you made of the job he's done at Bournemouth in a short space of time? No, it's. I mean, it's there. You can see. I mean, uh, results-wise, uh, a significant improvement, and I would say performance as well is strong. I, I think he's he's been able to put his ideas onto the team. Um, very clear. Uh, I like how they play. They they build up. They can use the the longer balls to the forward, but they don't just do that as well. They play through the back uh, defensively, um, sound as well. So he's done a really good job. 